Hello and welcome to a new series of videos I want to do about the Siemens logo. Siemens logo is a small PLC and I own this small PLC. I'm not sure why or where I've got it, but it does quite a lot of quite some years. It's working in my lightning equipment here and uh, well, I wanted to have a special, special treatment. Of course, I wanted to have a special thing. Uh, if I press the button, the, it's on, on the idle. Yeah? So if I press the button, I want that this will automatically turn off to save energy. If I make a double click, I want that this is permanently on. All right. So this, and if I do a long button press, I have power outlet sockets with uh, lightning, induced lightning. So in during night time and so on, you can just turn on, just you find your way to the toilet or wherever, or to the fridge, <laughs> wherever you your body leads you. Yeah? Uh, and first, this, this logo, yeah? it has four relay outputs and you can read, okay, output four times array, 10 amps. So I thought this is no issue. There is no issue at all. So I used one for one part of my idle, one for the other part, and those are the two parts uh, because I have several uh, um, etage, and those are the two parts for the low lighting. So this is bright light, this is low light output. This is what I thought. Uh, and suddenly one of those stopped to work. So I just said, okay, then they put the small outputs together, yeah, and using this one, so instead of this one, the contact, the contact did stick to each other. Yeah? And I thought, okay, because it was not new, it was not new, it was already several years old when I, when I got it, uh, and yeah, I thought maybe, I don't know what happened before, yeah? So I thought, okay, then I will use another output. But now, some years later, also this output now is stuck. Yeah? I'm not sure, I also have to confess, since it's that long, I'm not sure which output I used and which outputs are stuck now. I should have probably wrote down, right? But I did not. So I have to find this out anyway. Also, So what I want to do is I want to... I want to repair this huh? because this relays and the relays are stuck. Why are they getting stuck? I also made some research huh? and it's the case, you know, I'm using LED lightning, of course. Yeah? And now I realized LED lightning are, are a capacitive load. Seems like they have, it's, it's behaving like a capacitor there. Yeah? And even if the, if the, total power of this LED lightning is not that severe. Every time I turn on, it's like we're charging a capacitor, all right? So we have then at this point in time, we have a high peak, then we're dropping, and then we will be pretty low. Yeah, this is the current over time. And we have massive peaks when turning on capacitive low scenario. And I guess this is what destroyed this thing. So I'm using now a two stage approach. Yeah. I will have the output of the logo. This I will feed into a bigger relay. Yeah. This is what I 
what I'm planning to do now. I already bought such beaker relay. Here, this one. Uh, I hope this will do the do the work. I have even two contacts. I don't need the two contacts. But if yeah, we will see. Yeah. And this can switch up to 25 amps. I'm really sure this 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 will be stand. So I will use the logo to switch this this and then I should be on the safe side. But before I have to repair the logo. But to repair the logo, I need the same relays as are in there. And I don't know which relays are in there. So first thing, try to open the case. Uh, maybe here. Doesn't look too bad. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. You know, this is the nice thing if you buy something from a bigger vendor that it is. Uh -huh, this part. It's not to be. Mm, uh -huh. Okay, why is it not coming out? What's going on there? Ah, probably here. Ah, yes, now it moved a little. Here as well, good. And now, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Gone. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. <laughs> it's like Lego. Yeah, it's not logo, it's Lego. All right, and here we have to release. What are those? Shrug. The e conductivity shrug. And there is a number. There is a number on those. So it seems like it should work. See? There is the number. The connectors. So the only thing I have to do is to solder them up and, well, replace them. But which one? That's now the first task for me to find out which one I have. To replace. I should have remembered, damn it. Yeah? So I have to find out. I have to find out somehow. I will do. I will write a program where we switch one after the other. And then we should hear the difference. That's probably... I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but it's an idea. It's better than no idea. So next video, program something that we can hear which one has to be replaced which output but this done thank you very much for listening goodbye